think we're streaming. Okay. Uh, check it for me. See what it looks like. Or see what um, it sounds like. video download was canceled. Let's try to reload. Error 1000. Does it work on YouTube? YouTube. Oh, is it just going to be on YouTube today? Well, I'm streaming to Facebook, Periscope, Twitch, and YouTube um, through Restream. But we had some problems with Twitch last time. Yeah, looks like YouTube is working just fine. Um, I'm going to wait for somebody else's voice to pop in. I think Twitch is up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's working. Um, but Twitch is still doing that same thing with the error code. Mm. It just says, like, the video download was canceled. Please try again. Error 1000. Huh. That's weird. I don't know if it's my settings on my computer or not. But then it's kind of weird because it's... Yeah. I, I I don't know. I don't know. It's <laughs> it's weird. At least this way we get the recording and it works on something. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I see what you posted. I'll see if I have those images here I'll put in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was, um, I think that was for BLM or CRM. Okay. Uh, but that was, a, that was really interesting just because, um, I was doing, um, I was, uh, taking all the, the images from the field and then doing D stretch and then doing a, I would draw over it and do kind of art of the rock art. And when I saw this one, I was like, surely there's nothing here. I don't even see an outline or a hint of something. And then when I did the D stretch, I was like, holy freaking shit. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh, yeah, it's it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. Some of them, like you can kind of see hints of it and it makes sense that the image will make it like more pronounced. But this one, there wasn't even a little bit. I couldn't see it. Um, check the Twitch again. Okay. Um. Does it work? Mm, one more second. Nah. Still doing it? Still, yeah, it's still, I mean, it's, it says we're live, but there's no video. But it says we've been live for three minutes. Okay. Um, because... At least what I'm looking at on this Reddit thread is that this is what happens when you try to stream too high, too high of a bit rate. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, YouTube works. It's just better to uh, interact with people on Twitch, which is sad, but. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna fidget you with these just a little bit. Okay. All right. Um. I'm gonna shoot. 
Okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna restart the stream, and let's see. Cause I don't know if uh, changing the bitrate uh, midstream would actually fix the problem. So I'm gonna stop it, start it, and hopefully that will um, fix the issue. Um, okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Stopping. Welcome to Goblin Town. Okay. Um check the Twitch. Is it work are we working on Twitch? Okay. It seems um, like it. Check the Twitch. Is it work are we working on Twitch? Oh my god, it is. Okay. It seems oh like sweet. It. So that was it. Is it work, um, are we working on Twitch? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> okay. Oh sweet. Like so that was it. Is it work, um, are we working on Twitch? Oh my god, it is. Okay. Oh sweet. So that Okay, so make sure that your mic is not picking up you listening to us. Make sure that your mic is not picking up you listening to us. Make sure that your mic is not picking up you listening to us. gone okay all right uh, okay let's uh let's tweet this out all right <laughs> let's uh let's tweet this uh, out hold All right. All right. Okay. Now I think we're good. No echo? No echo. Yay. It All right. Sounded fine. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. I'm happy. <gasps> okay. <laughs> so we're just gonna, let's see here. I'm gonna look at the journal then. Oh yeah, I need to tweet out. I'm gonna tweet this out on uh on Twitter. Welcome to Goblin Town starts now. Cool. What? Okay, well, anyway, there we go. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Goblin Town. It's good to see everybody here again. Yay! Okay. Um. So, I'm going to recap from last time see here okay uh, i'm sure all of you have the escapades from last session burned into your memories um since it was such a <laughs> memorable session um but I'll, I'll summarize it again anyway um so you began your journey um from the goblins dig site just above oak ridge out to the site where they had excavated some of those artifacts um, 
those cursed artifacts. The distance between those two points is about three days worth of travel. Uh, you decided to go straight over the mountain range, and I'll pull that up. Um, and so that is the path that you decided to take. Uh, you followed the stream, uh, or you followed the red stream up, uh, up toward its source. And you were able to, uh, along the way, you met a small herd of protoceratops. Uh, now I'm going to do a different picture, um, than what I did before. I this is the the version that I, I I'd like to go with uh, for game canon. Let's see here, a little more colorful. There we go. Adorable, <laughs> really cute. Um, so you met a small herd of them, and Dagmar was able to speak with animals and ask them for some information, and they warned the party about certain dangerous creatures that lived uh, um, up in, deeper in the, the forest. Um, unfortunately, they did not join the group, as neither friends or as pets. Um, <laughs> not yet! <laughs> keep trying. Um, yeah. the, the party continued upwards, <clears throat> and eventually settled into their camp for the night. Uh, Radal and Fred were able to make a delicious, beautiful dinner of mushroom risotto and deep-fried zucchini blossoms stuffed with ricotta cheese. Uh, and then the party... Um, uh, settle down for the night and set up watch. At the third watch, at about 3 a.m., uh, the, the party was attacked by three large monstrous creatures. Uh, do we all, do, do we want me to describe them again, or? I think we're good. <laughs> okay. I still have PTSD. I still have nightmares. <laughs> uh, do I need to put up the picture? Let me put up the picture just to remind oh. everybody. He asks us and then he's just going to do it. <laughs> we need a content warning, please. Okay. <laughs> well, um, let's see. I'll, I'll make the picture very, very, very small. Very manageable. Okay, let's see. So, okay, there you go. Very small, very manageable. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the <laughs> um after a very hard fought battle, the party emerged victorious, having defeated three, um of these hideous, disgusting creatures, monsters. Um, and the, the party rested um, to have breakfast and bandage themselves and then moved on uh, with, the, with the sunrise. Um, you did your best to avoid them whenever you sighted them later. And later on, as you were climbing over Boulder, uh, Dagmar actually noticed a rash on uh, Gradol's shoulder. And with that, the, the party decided to stop and have a tick check. So that's, what you, that's where we're at right now. Um, you're all sort of sitting around by the boulder, um, uh, quietly and very uh, precisely and thoroughly uh, doing a tick check with, of course, uh, Fred and Gail buck, 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 doing their best to help. Okay. So helpful, as usual.
All right. So, um, <sighs> is there any? Are there any questions? What are you doing now? Well, it depends. Did we find any ticks? Should we all roll for perception or like uh, um, perception? Actually, here, no, this would be investigation. So if everybody mm -hmm. would like to, you can roll an investigation <laughs> for your tick check. Guidance. <laughs> Cradle, you better put guidance on that. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we know he has them. I was gonna do guidance for everybody, but that's okay. Um. Okay, I. I okay, yeah. So y you you all check yourselves, and you seem very clean. Um, you don't. <laughs> None of you notice any more rashes. The only person who seems to have a rash is Gradall. <coughs> oh. And I'm not feeling so hot, guys. Oh, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> not good. Uh. <laughs> well. Uh. <laughs> Do you have a spell for you can cure cure something? I do, but not until I rest for the night. Oh, we need to rest for the night. <laughs> yeah, but this is like eight o'clock in the morning. It is eight o'clock yeah. in the morning. I can tough it. I can tough it out till then. All right. <laughs> I can tough it out till then. DM's just like, huh? You think? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! All right. You've actually now passed over the top of the mountain. Um, so, let's see. So you're actually sort of about here. Um, and everybody roll a nature check. Tagmar's like, what is nature? <laughs> Good job, Janira. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So, for Dagmar and a theory, wow, this is beautiful nature. Look at all the trees. <laughs> for Gradol, you're. <laughs> Um, you're kind of interested, peaked, and in thinking like, "Oh, what kinds of flowers can you find on this side of the mountain?" Um, and you're starting to notice that there's a few different flowers. Um, uh, Genera, uh, you notice the slight difference in foliage, um, change, uh, because you're now on the north side, north facing side of the mountain, and there's a different rainfall pattern here. So, just going to throw that out there again. <laughs> so proud of his map. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. As you should be. It is a beautiful yeah. map. Um, it, it's not just that, but that it, like, if you start to look north, parts of it start to look more yellow. And the further north you go, the less rainfall you're going to see. So it's, um, it's going to be quite um, obvious uh, much later on. Especially as you finally get to it onto the the foot of the mountain. Okay. Um, so, what I would like you get all to do is, again, we're going to do the... Um, each of you are going to contribute to coming down the mountain. Um, because of the path you chose, there is no... Wait, let me see. Let me double check. Let me double check. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, the... the You aim for a, a stream. So, going over the top of the mountain, um, coming up to the... Almost to the summit, you follow the stream, but for the last bit of the summit, up and down, there is no stream for you to follow. 
So you need to make sure you find that other stream that you're hoping to find and follow that down, uh, down the mountain. So I want each of you to roll and contribute one of your skills to helping you stay alive on this mountain. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm not rolling in. <laughs> How has she survived this this long? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry <Okay>. everyone. <laughs> <sighs> um okay. So with Grad All in a theory, you are able to continue to avoid any more of the tick monsters. So a theory is scouting ahead, and um, she's able to remain fairly undetected, although there's a few close calls. Um, with Genera, and a little bit of help from Grad All as well. They're able to locate this stream again. So you you sort of notice off in the distance that there's a little bit of a foliage change. Um, because cer certain plants uh, require the constant feeding of water that a stream would provide them versus some of these other places, which are a little bit drier. Um, so you can see sort of that bit in the bis uh, bit of... Uh, change in the canopy in the distance and you're able to beeline toward it. Or, well, you attempt to beeline toward it. So you know where you're going. Dagmar. <laughs> okay, okay. As, okay, the party overall, the party overall is pretty sure that they're on the right path. Dagmar, reveling in the bloodshed, and the blood that she was able to shed the night before, was on the lookout for more of those tick monsters. However, she did not see any traces of them. Okay. I'm going to leave that at that. Okay. All right. Um, Fred, do, do any of you do anything with Fred? Or you just let him tag along. Just about to ask, like, what is he contributing? Oh, um, Fred's <laughs> singing that song. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that is not good enough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um oh yeah oh yeah i forgot um so fred 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 is like fred fred is really happy actually so and you can see when you look at fred a little bit um you you kind of notice that, that smile on his face. It's a little bit wider than usual. And he's kind of got like his hand in his pocket. And there's a kind of a weird jingling sound coming from his pocket. Um, <laughs> kind of like change or something. I don't know. It's It sounds hard and small. Can I do an insight check and see what he's up to? Go for it. Okay, he he's happy. Okay, now I realize my description was very poor. I'm leading up to something. <laughs> that was a very poor description. <laughs> um, as best as you can tell, he you think he has something using your goblet insights. Um, he seems to have found something. You're not quite sure what, but he seems to have found something. 
Mm. Uh, Fred? <laughs> yes? Um, what, what'd you find? Oh, 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 I, um, I found some arrowheads. <sighs> Fred, leave them where you found them. <laughs> what, what? Leave them where you found them. Why? <laughs> I, so, first of all, I the correct terminology is projectile points. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, but... <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to mute myself while my inner archaeologist just... <laughs> it bangs his head against the wall. Yes. <laughs> really? Are you sure? <laughs> he looks really I sad. Mean... <laughs> Have you ever done a puzzle, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's a puzzle? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever read a book? <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, uh. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Why do you have it? Why? <laughs> Explain it to me. Walk me through the process. Why do you have that? Because I, I like to imagine how it got here. I like to imagine like the hunters and what they were doing. But so you realize that by picking those things up and putting them in your pocket, you have taken away a part of the story that tells the story of those hunters, right? Why are we telling you this? You should be telling us this! <laughs> oh no! It, it's fine, he's just a shuffle hop. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're not actually characters that are archaeologists, but somehow always manage to be archaeologists. <laughs> <laughs> we all come from archaeology families, I guess. <laughs> We need to talk to Dr. Air Pickle about this. <laughs> yeah, we might tell on Not you. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I guess I didn't. I didn't guess I shouldn't have been picking up arrowheads. And no, you should have been doing your double blind testing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Fred, oh, you know, pulls his hand out of his pocket, and he dumps a bunch of. Um, uh, arrowheads onto the ground, and they all clatter with a metallic sound. Whoa! Me metallic sound? Are yeah. they are they stone arrowheads or metal arrowheads? They're metal arrowheads. Oh. Ooh. Huh. Oh dear. <laughs> um, Fred, how long ago did you pick these up? As we were walking up the mountain. Oh. <laughs> so, how many miles back? Uh, I, I don't use Imperial System. I use Metric. Okay. How many <laughs> kilometers <laughs> back? <laughs> <laughs> he can do one part of his job, right? <laughs> Is you can't leave them here now because they're in a different place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, looking at the arrowheads, do I notice anything in particular about their make? They're just metal and kind of rusty. Can I do a history check to see if I know anything about them? Go for it. Is that <laughs> something I can guidance, or is that... Yeah, just... go ahead if you want to guidance that. That's fine. Look at this edge modification going on here. <laughs> True. <laughs> 27. Nice. For Janera. Nice. Okay, wait a minute. Dagmar, I want you... Okay, if you're going to do that, Dagmar, I want you to roll an investigation on those uh, Oh, you arrowheads. know it's going to be like two. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. How do I erase this? Because I'm about to say, because you're like, arrow modification, and I'm like, no, they're just rusty and dinged. They're <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, Dagmar, oh, these are incredible stone arrowheads. 
with rust on them. <laughs> okay. Um, Genera, they just look like local arrowheads. They're just... You, I mean, like, if if you had arrows in a quiver, you would pull them out and they'd look pretty much the same as this. Okay, so they're not necessarily old? No. Um, they're... They look fairly modern, quote-unquote modern, since this is a medieval uh, fantasy setting. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how close are we to the battles that are going on up? Because we've moved fairly far north. How close are we to the battles that have been driving the refugees south towards Clark? Not, not that far north. Or well, you, you still haven't gone. Uh, you're still not that close. Um, so whatever refugees are here, they've come here because they believe that they're a safe enough distance. So you're not gonna have to worry about that. Um, okay. as far as you can tell, you know, these might be hunters, uh, arrowheads, they, um, there's really nothing sort of, um, particular or strange about them. They're just some local person with an arrowhead, or with a bow and arrow running around shooting arrows. Hmm. Okay. So then in theory... It's okay that Fred takes them. Are you going to tell that to Fred? <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? It's not a good practice for him to get used to doing, That's though. That's true. <laughs> Just picking up stuff he finds in the middle yeah. of nowhere. With no context of what it actually is and where it came from. And as a <laughs> shovel hub, I feel like he should probably know that if he's going to mm. continue going down that path. <laughs> <laughs> he should, but we know how real life archaeologists can be too, so. We might as well give him the old bees and the puzzles talk. <laughs> <laughs> Except we're going to have to find like a D&D &D version of those things because he clearly doesn't know what a puzzle is and has never read a book in his life, so. How about Fred. a sandwich? Does he know what a sandwich is? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got it, I got it. Fred, have you yes. ever played with playing cards before? Um, yes, uh, and he pulls out oh, a God. small deck. <laughs> now, wouldn't it suck if you were missing one of those cards? Oh my goodness. Then my whole Exodia strategy wouldn't work. <laughs> That's exactly what you potentially could be doing. Okay. Can you see? So I should never <laughs> ever pick up trash. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> He's not getting it! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this is conversations that I've had in real life with real oh. people. So. <laughs> oh, really? Well, <laughs> I mean, all my cards on the table. Um, this is a little bit of a fake out. I, need... <laughs> I know you're trying to torture us, and you're succeeding. <laughs> ah, the job of every DM. Yeah. <laughs> he enjoys this too much. <laughs> okay. Um, so anyways, um, uh, Fred, Fred's compliant, he doesn't argue, he doesn't try to argue back, he's just okay, and he, like, he's, he's willing to dump them, like, hold out his hand and dump them onto the ground, um, if, if that's what you want him to do. I mean, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we already went through the whole oh process God. of telling him why it's bad, so we might as well follow yeah. through with it. So, and more than that, I think uh, the uh, the jingling that he was doing is not making us particularly that stealthy. True, but then yeah, again, he also has a chicken on his back. So. Yeah, fair point. Fair point. So, uh, shall we continue? Okay. Mookie dookie. Okay. <coughs> so, 
you all continue down that mountain, and you eventually head down toward the stream. Okay. So, I'm going to chili something here. Okay. I'm going to bring you to this little map here. Just give me a moment here. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. So you have uh, this map here. Okay. See, and at the map at the bottom or along the along the stream here, you do notice there's a dinosaur corpse actually by it. Alright, so it's about there next to the stream. <clears throat> and you actually also see a couple of the uh, tick monsters. No. God. No, we're leaving. Oh no, he's colored now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, uh, all of you are going to actually start up... Um, you're all chill oh all starting out over here. Okay. So go ahead and put your tokens down there somewhere. Hold on, I'm getting a screenshot of this because this is too cute. In a morbid kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that is not. I don't where think I want we. Be. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to be right next to it, Dagmar. Oh no, no, to... no! <laughs> Gonna just um, how? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey guys, you can, just, you can just pick her up and move her. There you oh. go. <laughs> I don't think we're nearly far enough. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. One more. And. <laughs> Again. Okay, here we go. Oh, cute! <laughs> I don't know, okay. I, I don't know who uh, Fred's gonna stick close to, but there's Fred. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so there there's Fred and Gail the chicken. Okay. Um <laughs> Uh None of the ticks uh sense you. Okay. So you know them already. You can you can see them that they're sort of in your path. Um So you can do your best to avoid them. Uh, so what I, what you need to do is formulate a plan. You need to either do your best to sneak by, um, but you have the chicken and the Fred. Fred. You could just try to, like, <laughs> blow them up or, you know, whatever. Um, so go ahead, uh, discuss party, try to figure out what you can do to avoid danger. I, I don't think sneaking past, nor, normally I, I'd pa cast pass without a trace, but I am totally tapped with second level spells. I'm completely out. Oh. We're at... I, what I could do is I could wild shape into something that just moves really, really fast and try to lead them off. Try to distract them and lead them off in another direction. While the rest of you sneak by. 
or we can go back the way we came. <laughs> that is a possibility our... we got to remap it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I oh, thought no. you were brave, Dagmar. <laughs> uh, Do you think we could sneak through the trees to the north? Or those trees? I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, the um, the dark, the darker parts are like uh, trees. We could probably stay on the northern side of the river here, and then stay in the trees. Hopefully, they can't hear us because the the stream will kind of disguise our our noises a little bit, and they won't be able to see us because we'll be in the trees. And maybe they don't like water. Hey, well, like, if we use flowers to disguise our scent, maybe they won't smell us. Yeah. <laughs> that I can do. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, okay, so... <laughs> okay, so you're, you're gonna ho ho uh, depend on the, the sound of the water, okay, to hide you. And then Gradal is going to cast flowers? Oh, with my staff of flowers, I can make a whole bunch of of different flowers. But that might be more distracting than anything else. I think that uh, maybe either sneaking past to the north or I can wild shape and, and lead them off. I think those are our two best bets. Best bets. Best bets. So. <laughs> um. Well, okay then. So, just tell me what you decide to do. Well, considering that Gradle's in pretty bad shape, I don't think that we should have him go off by himself if it's not needed. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Fred's in good shape though. Fred's in perfect shape. Yeah, but Fred is Fred. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of the flowers. Um historically, um that's what people would do to try to get rid of ticks or at least not have them come on. They'd rub flowers on themselves? Well, like uh <laughs> <laughs> like different kinds of uh, different kinds of sensor oils were used in the place of like DEET and permethrin. Hmm. So that could help. Maybe by me saying this, uh, the DM will be like, "Ah, oh, yes, okay, okay, no fight, no fight." <laughs> okay. <laughs> if if you want to do that, uh, you're gonna have to tell me. Well, okay. That's something that Gradle might know if he does an appropriate nature check and then either he produces it with his staff or you have to find it somewhere here in the woods or something. Um, because I, I know things like the, uh, tobacco leaves can be used as a, uh, an anti-parasitic. You know, if you happen to have uh, stomach worms or whatever, you, you eat tobacco juice. Oh, not bad. Okay. Okay, so you're what's it what's it what's it called? You're like, huh. You're like rubbing your chin and scratching your head and like citronella? What wait, 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 what's that plant? Well, not not just um not just uh, citronella, but marigolds will deter lice, mosquitoes, even rabbits. Chrysanthemums are actually considered maybe the best plants to deter bugs. Lavender works well too. So, are you just gonna like produce the flowers and then slather them over yourself, or how how is this gonna work? Well, I think that's pretty much what the plan is. Uh, okay. All right. So go ahead, wave, wave your flower wand, and get everybody to rub flowers all over themselves. <laughs> This is by far the weirdest plan, and I am so on board with it. 
Uh, I figured. I finally, my moment has come. Flowers. Dagmar's like, wait a minute, I'm allergic. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going I'm going full on with chrysanthemums which are actually known to repel ticks. This is actually this uh, this is Michael the archaeologist speaking. Chrysanthemums mm. do repel ticks. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just I'm going, you know, mum's the word and I'm just <laughs> smearing chrysanthemums all over everybody's face. <laughs> <laughs> which is really weird. <laughs> I'll, th I'll throw a few into uh, into the chicken's cage and stick a couple behind uh, Fred's big ears and and I get it, walk up to Dagmar and say, "This time it's for your own protection." And I just start shoving a whole bunch of chrysanthemums. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Do I need to roll something to prevent her from sneezing so much? <laughs> if you have an allergy, you can do a constitution saving throw to make sure you don't, like, ruin your stealth. <laughs> I might have to. I hate to bring it up. That's a lot of flowers, though. I think it's funny that Dagmar suggested this plan and she's allergic to flowers. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Ah, yes! That's, oh, Chase! <laughs> yes! <laughs> 20. Her sneezes are inaudible. <laughs> well, you don't oh, sneeze. I, just find, you, you I like... just find that adorable that that would be the case with Dagmar. She's this big, hulking barbarian, but she sneezes <laughs> like a pixie. <laughs> <laughs> This is so far a perfect plan. It's going off without a hitch so far. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so do we want to try sneaking up to the north through the trees? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So you were just going to just like run screaming at them and hoping that that would repel them? Like a sort of a weird force field? Okay. Let's do, let's do your plan. <laughs> well, that, that's how, it, that's how it actually works in real life. It's kind of a weird... Um, force field. Like if you if you've ever bought one of those um, all natural like organic uh, insect repellents that they have in the um, in like Whole Foods and stuff like that, they use chrysanthemums in in the insect repellents. Ah, interesting. Okay. A lot healthier than what I use. My, my the stuff I use is like two percent likely to give you skin cancer. <laughs> Don't let it touch your skin, <laughs> but oh. also coat your clothing with it. Oh, I, I'm thinking Dagmar that you're like pig pen, but instead of like dust, it's like beet or pe pesticides coming off <laughs> you. Yeah, that's 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 what and that's what you do as an archaeologist. Yeah. Yeah. Can't risk it. Otherwise, I have to put duct tape on my on the bottom of my pants, connected to my shoes. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? Um, a week ago, I, I, as far as I know, there's not a big tick problem around my area. But I was walking in the um, the hills, so I did tuck my pants into my socks just to be safe. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay, so go ahead. Uh, do a stealth check and move your. Uh, uh, do a stealth check and move your um your tokens in whatever direction that you're planning to go. As we're going, is this something I can do do guidance for? Uh, yeah, you can do guidance, but I. You can only do it to one person. Let's do it to just one person. Okay. Who's got the lowest stealth? I got a plus zero to stealth. I got Mine's a plus the highest. Yeah. Uh, plus two. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Daryl's still giving us opportunities to screw uh, up. <laughs> I guess I'm the one that needs it. <laughs> <laughs> go. Nine for Genera. Dagmar's 23. 
Oh, why are th- why are there three Freds on the board? Oh, sorry, I messed up. Uh, I was doing something. <laughs> That's one too many Freds. That's two too many Freds. <laughs> I was clicking something. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, jeez, this is deja vu, Chanera again. I know. Why? <laughs> Okay, so move your tokens in the direction that you're uh, you're you're s- walking through or trying to sneak through. You hear a faint pok 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 behind you. Kill it. <laughs> okay. okay, hold hold on a second. Let me see. Okay. Okay, well, I'm just going to roll it. Okay, I need a uh, roll. Here we go. Here's Fred's stealth check. I forgot to roll for Fred. Okay, you still hear a faint book, 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 behind you. He at least rolled higher than I did. Okay. So, as you sort of near them as you sort of near them one of them seems to sort of like tilt its head toward you in your direction but then it sort of quickly goes back to what it's doing and uh, continues uh feeding on the uh the the dinosaur I love that the chicken is separate. I love it. <laughs> that means it can be killed. <laughs> so you're already planning to sacrifice Gale as soon as you can, aren't you? <laughs> oh, wait. I I should have zoomed this out. I forgot. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. So you're all able to make it past these uh the, the ticks. Uh the tick monsters and you're able to continue your way down back down the mountain. Yay. Yay. Excellent plan. <laughs> Thanks, Greto. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Uh I don't know if you want to keep your little pictures on the on this picture here. Um, so you continue down the mountain, uh, and you can see you can see the the mesa off in the distance. Now I'm going to ask you to all to do a perception check. So, all of you notice there is actually something in the air. You, you notice now on this side of the mountain, uh, there's a little bit... There, there's these kinds of large shadows in the sky. Um, there's something, some sort of animal that's flying up there. Okay. And see, all of you see some of these sort of flying about. I knew it. <laughs> oh my god. This is since day one. Since this day is, one, this yeah. Been the pilot. Building up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who didn't think it was real? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is Dagmar? No, that was that was before Dagmar's time. <laughs> Uh, 
And of course, as soon as Fred like looks up and catches sight of one of them, he begin he begins to try to imitate the call. <laughs> 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 oh, my God, we got to put him down. <laughs> He encourages Gail to uh, join in. <laughs> oh. I mean, does he need to roll for stealth now? <laughs> um, none of them none of them are looking at you. None of them are sort of like approaching you. That's good. Um So I'm gonna give a little bit of a Discord saying. Okay, so hold on a moment. Okay. So I'm going to send... Let's see, who am I sending this to? So I'm going to send this to Dagmar. So message to okay. Dagmar. A message to Bradall and a message to Chinera. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, carry yeah. in birds. Okay. All right, and then you continue down the mountain. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm kind of surprised nobody nobody bothers to tell a theory anything, huh? <laughs> the oblivious. <laughs> 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 like, ooh, big bird. What's that? We're all just <laughs> nodding our head. It's oh, like, yes, mm -hmm. yes, I know exactly what's going on. Aha, uh -huh. mm, makes sense, makes sense. And the theory's just like, bird! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I like that we don't bother to tell the audience either. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So basically, they're like, uh, vultures, so they're just circling the, the kill site. Yeah. But you didn't hear that from us! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, you guys don't look too concerned, so I'm not concerned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So... Now we're, you're actually coming down to the end of the, let's see, and let's see, I think about there. So you're actually coming down to the bottom of the mountain here, down to the bottom of the mountain there, in your journeys, and you've, uh, for the most part, safely, uh, safely reached the bottom, okay, safe and sound, mostly. There is, it is about evening time, and you don't notice anybody. There doesn't seem to be any sort of settlements or any sort of uh, tracks or campsites or anything. Um, it seems pretty much like nobody ever comes here. However, in the distance, you do see some smoke. You seem to see be seeing some sort of um, smoke around here. It's not a lot of smoke, um, but it seems to be like a campfire of some sort. But that's about all you can see. Okay. Um, it is now evening time. You can either continue to push on, or you can um, camp for the night. Bradwell's condition, it's probably a good idea to get some rest, but I also know that maybe mm -hmm. we don't want to stay in the mountains, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will leave the decision up to Gradle. Yeah, 
How you uh how you feeling, bud? I'm not really tired. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry, that was a real yawn. <laughs> 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 oh god. It's finals week. What do you expect? <laughs> Barry <Holy shit. laughs> Uh okay. So uh no, I think maybe camping for the night is a good idea. Although I don't think maybe a campfire with the other campfire so close. I am curious about the other campfire, but not enough to go looking for trouble. It's too far. Mm -hmm. You'd have to, it's it's almost like another day's journey. Um, you can tell from from where you are because you're still sort of at a slightly higher elevation. Um, it seems to be next to that stream over there or that river over there. Um, so you're you're at a higher elevation and can see down on it. Okay. So, um, so we're going to camp for the night. I assume we want to take shifts and watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can volunteer to go first. Okay. I think, I think Gradol should, should be the last one so he gets as much rest as possible. Yeah. I greatly appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I can take second watch. Okay, I'll go third then. Okay, so hold on, let me write this down. So first is Dagmar. Second was Hathiri. Yes. Third is Janera. Fourth is Gradol. Okay, so uh, at this, is there anything you you do specifically for your camp? Do you just like roll out your bed rolls? Do you set up a tent? Do you just like no? I'm gonna sleep in the dirt. Um, are you gonna cook <laughs> something? I feel like a tent would be a good idea for all in this area, perhaps. Do you have a tent? <laughs> <laughs> well, Tagmar doesn't, but <laughs> perhaps, uh, perhaps we could mooch on someone who has a tent. I don't either. I don't. I think I think we're probably just doing bed rolls tonight. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. don't think any of us have a tent. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm certainly not up to cooking. Anybody want to do takeout? <laughs> <laughs> we can. What's a good? Uh, uh, does DoorDash make it up the mountain? Right. I was just gonna say, what's a good D and D equivalent for Grubhub? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the chicken. The chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we have to kill it and then clean it and cook it. <laughs> Fred looks at you with the biggest, like, saucer sized eyes, like, imaginable. Chicken. Don't give me that look. <laughs> what? You can't tell me you've never eaten chicken, Fred. Um. Just not well, this particular chicken. It, he he like looks at you kind of suspiciously and then like carefully places his hands over Gail's ears and just like maybe once <laughs> don't tell her okay um so you're you're just like whatever for food. You're just gonna munch on whatever hard tack or like chocolate you can pull out of your pocket. I guess since we don't want to build a fire, right? We don't want to yeah get any yeah. attention drawn to us. So figured get out, get out some pocket bacon or some jerky or yeah. Okay. Excellent. So, snap to a slim gym. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
just popped in my well, head. We, we can we can attract Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, if you want to do any spiritual gifting, you can. Or spirit gifting. I'm, I'm, I'm unfamiliar. Um, okay, so I hadn't realized this, but I was listening, I think, to a Monster Talk podcast, but there's something called spirit gifting. Um, where you leave behind presents for like spirits, and actually oh, yeah. we do this in America, but we call it leaving uh, milk and cookies for Santa Claus. Yeah, uh... it's 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 a similar process. They, they do the same thing on Dia de los Muertos or uh, the Ghost Festival in China. Oh, yeah, and, and uh, tribal members that I work with, they they do stuff a lot too, especially if. Um they're going to be touching artifacts or picking anything up, that type of thing. They always, like, leave something as a gift in return. Well, that's really cool, but we wouldn't... Would we want Bigfoot to pick up on our trail? Um... And she fight the ticks? <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Can we get a Bigfoot versus giant monstrous ticks and recreate we talking- Godzilla? <laughs> yeah, we King were talking Kong? about that movie not long ago, Godzilla versus King Kong. We could have a little bit of that going on. <laughs> Although, okay. This is derailing me. You, you you just mentioned Godzilla, so you just derailed me. Uh, if you okay, it would not be Godzilla versus Kong. It'd be Godzilla versus Megalon, or um, I'm leaving. Let's see. Megalon has a, a little bit of Hollow Earth in it too. Uh, oh the other one God. was it uh, Son of Godzilla. I think the Son of Godzilla is one of them. Oh jeez, I've seen uh, that one. Because that's the one where they're on Monster Island, and you. Uh, Spiga fights uh, the the son of Godzilla, so that's a spider. That's more uh, that's more our arthropod ish. Thank you. Moving on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're getting easily distracted this game. Okay, yeah. so we need we need perception. We need perception checks from Dagmar. Um, okay. So Dagmar, right. you're the first watch. Mm-hmm. Um, perception, no. Not bad. Okay, good. So, as darkness falls, you, you're, you, you keep your eyes and ears open, um, and you're not quite sure, but you might hear the faint, like, clanging of pots or voices far off in the distance. You cannot tell what they're saying, and you're not even sure if you're actually hearing people. But nothing happens uh, that night. Your watch ends uneventfully, um, and it's now time for a theory. Uh, what do you do, Dagmar? Uh, I'm going to gently wake her up and tell her that it is her turn. And that nothing happened, and we should be okay. Hopefully. Sounds good. Get some rest. I'll take over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet dreams. Don't I'm gonna like lay down, like I'm gonna <laughs> lay down, kind of closer to Fred, <laughs> but then, like, oh God, don't. <laughs> Oh, Carol, that's not cool. Uh, That just makes me sad. Okay, a theory. What are you going to do on your watch? Uh, Roll perception if you're watching. I'm watching. Or trying to. (laughs) Um, Nothing seems to be... So, it's quite dark now. Right, like this is sort of the nine, ten o'clock at night. Um, the, the the stars are out and twinkling. Um, and you're trying your best to to stay alert, but you kind of feel yourself nodding off once in a while. 
Um, but the only thing that sort of breaks you out of that drowsiness is a little bit of hooting of owls, and you hear a little bit of rustling in the uh, the grass and the bushes. Uh, but nothing attacks. So at the end of your uh, the next after your watch is Genera. Is there anything? Mm -hmm. um, so what do you do at the end of your watch? Um, I'm gonna go over to Genera, gently wake her up. Hey, Genera. Oh, yeah. Your watch. I didn't see anything. It's pretty quiet out there. Just, just a few owls. Okay. Well, uh, get some rest, and I'll take it from here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> You're also civil with each other now. <laughs> I mean, granted, this is not the way I would be if somebody woke me up. I'd be angry and not want to talk at all. <laughs> okay, go ahead, like Janera, since... uh... <laughs> Okay. So it's your watch, Janera. What are you doing during your watch? And if you're trying to actively watch, please roll perception. Okay. I like that there's a choice for people to just not do their job. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, like, you could. <laughs> All right, so, Chenera, this is the early morning hours. This is You're talking about, like, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, so it's quite cold. Like, you can feel sort of the winter starting to... Uh, kind of crawl up to the to the door um, as the as the temperature is beginning to drop um, for the season. Um, you you don't hear anything special other than the general night sounds, um, and the night passes uneventfully. Uh, the next person on the watch is Gradall. Um, so what's the next thing that you do? I'm just gonna go and, and gently wake up Gradle. Hey, Gradle. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. how are you feeling? Are you feeling okay? Uh, that depends, DM. Do I get my spells back? Uh, at this point, you would, you, I think you would take it, uh, your spells back. Uh, quick lesser restoration. Uh. uh. Cool. Okay, Please. lesser restoration. If anyone can see your shoulder, they can see that the uh, the rash sparkles and then disappears. Hey. Oh. Oh, much better. Much better. All right, watch, watch. Got to do a watch. Got to do a watch. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, what do you do during your watch? And if you are actively watching, please roll perception. I won't be actively watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you're, you're actually sort of awake as the sun uh, begins to come up. And in the early morning hours, you do see things like deer um, walking about. Um, I, I know this this is this is probably hell on uh, biologists, but like, there's going to be deer and dinosaurs there. Okay. <laughs> uh, but but deer and the protoceratops <laughs> that I was talking about earlier. With the people in the dinosaur part, we had no problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, in the early morning hours, you do also see some more of those pterosaurs sort of flying about, flying overhead. Um, some of them <laughs> seem to be heading toward the mesa. Okay. Uh, otherwise, no monsters, no highway robbers, nothing. It is a peaceful night. You have escaped danger for at least one night. Um, morning comes, breakfast, everybody wakes up. Uh, Fred stretches. Ah, good morning, everybody. And he like looks Before over at Gail. I'm like, oh, Gail. 
Oh, an egg. Thank you, Gail. Oh, I was just about to say. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to try to sneak an, sneak an egg out of Gail's cage when Fred was asleep. But, <laughs> oh, oh, if you want to do that, go for it now. Go for it, Grad Doll. I'll wreck on that. Go Fred's, for it. Fred's got it. Fred's got it. Okay, okay. I mean, if Fred was nice, he would share. Oh, oh, Fred is nice. I am nice. Here, I'll share. I'll um uh, I'll share my favorite breakfast, uh, eggs and orange juice together. <laughs> you are a strange, strange <laughs> little creature. <laughs> We kept him for a reason! <laughs> I mean, he does seem a lot happier than he was back at the Shove Hobbs camp, so... The Shovel Hobbs, He does. So. He does. Uh, are you gonna ask him about dreams or anything? Oh yeah, I guess we could. So, Fred! <laughs> tell me about your dreams. <laughs> my dreams? My dreams are to become an... Uh, as great of an archaeologist as the professor. No, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, like, are you still having nightmares? Like, oh, what? No. Oh, okay. I'm having very nice dreams now. Good. It's good. Glad to hear it. Um. Uh, you can see that he's like cracked that egg, and he's he's got like a teeny tiny little cast iron fr a frying pan, and he's frying it over the fire, and he has a. Uh, a glass of juice. Uh, ne or not a glass, but like a cup of juice next to him. Or orange juice. Um, so, he, he cracks it, it, you know, he cracks it over the, the frying pan, begins to fry the egg. He's just like, does anyone else want some breakfast? Yes, yes, but could you not mix the orange juice with the egg? Huh? What? Because <laughs> usually, you know, we eat the egg and drink the orange juice. That... That's kind of weird. I mean... Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Different cultures, you know... <laughs> I'm a hobgoblin. You're a goblin. <laughs> you do things your way. I do them mine. It seems weird to each other, but... Uh, hobgoblin goblin? Doesn't that sound kind of reductionist? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me hit you. <laughs> do my fist of flurries right now. <laughs> I, I was actually going to uh, ask Dagmar, do you think maybe you could uh, talk to Gail, see if she's got another egg in her? Oh my god. <clears throat> <clears throat> Chicken. <laughs> do you understand the words I'm speaking? Um. Okay, hold on a second. Give, give me a second here. <laughs> like, oh. Okay. This is everything I wanted. Gail <laughs> does the thing, like the head cock to the side thing that chickens do, or like birds do, and then it says, oh, "Yes." Uh huh. That's nice. Um, I require an egg from you, chicken. Can you produce said egg? Like. The Gail like cocks her head a bunch of times, kind of like turns away a little bit because. It's... <laughs> so usually chickens don't like, or birds don't look directly at you. They have to kind of turn their head to the side, like kind of, yeah. to, like look at you. So they're kind of like so Gail's sort of doing that a little bit, um, like <laughs> produce sad egg, a sad egg. I don't make sad eggs. <laughs> Chicken, chicken, listen to me. I need an egg. My friend wants an egg, chicken. Can you give me egg? <laughs> She's like burying her fists. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, are, are you about to strangle this chicken or something? Or? 
<laughs> either, <laughs> either you give me an egg so that I can give it to my friend, or I cook you and I roast you and I and I have what I want to eat. Give Roll intimidation. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Natural one <laughs> versus a chicken. <laughs> okay, <laughs> take me back. This is everything I ever wanted. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit of metagaming, but animals, at least in D and D, have a low intelligence, so they may not understand you. But they tend to have an average wisdom, which is what you would use generally to save against intimidation. So technically, the chicken could save against this. <laughs> oh, oh it God. does. Okay. What is it? She just comes flying at me. Oh, this is not Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> I, she could be like the chickens from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> oh my god. So, the, the the chicken is like unsure of what to do. Okay, so it does a lot of book, 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 and kind of like looking at you and sort of tilting its head a little bit. And Fred's like looks at you and it's like, wow, you're talking a lot to Gale. You must be best friends with Gale. <laughs> um, uh, and then like Fred like pats the chicken a little bit and then the chicken boop, produces an egg <laughs> Dagmar's gonna find a bush and scream in it <laughs> <laughs> I'm done <laughs> Is this when you rage? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but close. Uh. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, uh, Fred fries the next egg and proceeds to cut the two eggs that he has, fried up, and he portions them equally among everybody. So that would be five pieces of egg between two eggs. Um, you can do your fractions. <laughs> Archaeologists, we don't do math. <laughs> what are you trying to do to us? <laughs> You're making us look bad! <laughs> well, I mean, if you don't like fractions, we can do percentages. <laughs> so one person gets 40% of one, or each person gets 40% of one egg, but one person gets 20% of two eggs. I think that works out. Yeah. I mean, the one person who's going to get less, that's obviously going to have to be Fred, right? Because he's being hospitable. It's, they're all equal. Oh, well. <laughs> <sighs> Constantly looking for an opportunity to screw him over. <laughs> I I mean, if if you want, like... So, so Fred gets the two pieces. So everyone gets a piece of the same size, except for Fred. He gets two pieces, but each of those pieces are smaller. So if you want to try to trick Fred, be like, Fred, why do you get two pieces? No, it's okay. Okay. I hope he. Um, I hope he shares with his chicken, though. That's kind of <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken's gotta eat too. <laughs> uh, he 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 reaches into his bag and pulls out some feed for uh, for Gale. So Gale, Gale is eating uh, off of some seeds off the ground, and uh, God, Fred takes his pieces of fried everything. egg, puts them in this uh, orange juice glass, swirls it around, and like oh. downs it. This is a weird little dude. Yeah, I'm, I I don't like salmonella. I don't want to get salmonella poisoning, so I always cook my eggs before I put it in my orange juice. <laughs> I don't know why you would mix the eggs with the orange juice either way, but, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. You all enjoy your breakfast and you pack up and you start heading, um, I assume, downstream for this, uh, toward the mesa. Uh, is there anything in particular that you're going to be doing? Um, at this point, uh, again, uh, it's much easier because you're not in the mountains. There is actually not very many uh, as, as trees. There's not as many trees. It's actually a fairly sparse woodland, and it's mostly um, shrubs and tall grasses now. It's a little bit harder to get lost. Um, you're just following the stream mostly for this point, I I guess, because there's just less there to be in your way, rather than just cutting across uh, cross country. So, whatever you'd like to contribute, like um, to your journey now, you can roll your your skills. So you can add your your nature, your survival, your stealth, or whatever. Um, uh, just describe what you are now doing for this last leg of the journey to get you to the mesa. I'll be uh, essentially using my observant feet and keeping a very, very close eye out for as much as I can. Uh, I'm going to be uh, frequently bragging about the fact that I am essentially bodyguarding this group, though there's no one around. <laughs> Um, now, you're doing athletics, so what, like, Can athletic you... thing are you doing? Uh... I'm sorry, folks. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Uh, athletic thing. I, I am walking. I am walking, uh, hastily. I, uh, I, I am, uh, working out a little bit as I'm walking. I'm training my muscles. This will benefit the group in the long run. So you're speed walking and flexing. And speed walk. Yes, I'm speed walking and flexing through the field. Yes. <laughs> I just Excellent. imagine this of her like <laughs> lifting her axe like a weight, and she's just like, like up, up, what down. are the <laughs> what are those power walking chicks you see sometimes in the morning through the park? Like she's on a mission, but she's just working out for the day, and you're like. I wish I had that kind of energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm doing that. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of getting visions of Johnny Bravo. Oh, that's that is also very much oh, Dagmar. Don't compare, no, don't even. <laughs> except, you know. I don't hate on everything moving. Yeah, except not, you know, a creeper. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't care about my hair that much. But I could oh, definitely see you striking the poses to try and intimidate oh, people. God. Like... <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. He would do he would do the dab or the whatever you <laughs> call the dab back in the day, but over his head, dab yes. just doing that back and forth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, my contribution. Yeah, so with Genera and a theory, what are you contributing? Uh I'll try to stealthily sneak through the shrubs and the grasses and kind of like keep an eye on over at that camp sort of see if there's any movement okay so a theory you're mostly scouting ahead then yeah okay let me see you okay i'll write this i'm gonna send you a message So many secrets. Okay. 
I come back down towards the group who was ever closest to me. I don't know who that is. And I say, I see four people by the stream that's walking up towards the Mesa. And I say that very quietly. What did they look? Me did they look troublesome? Did they look menacing? What kind of people are we talking about? I didn't get a good enough look, unfortunately. Should we try to sneak closer so we can have a better look at these guys? We might be, we might be running across uh, some highwaymen again. Possibly, yeah. I have uh, pass without a trace. If you want to get close enough. And if I can get close enough, I can read their lips and see if I can figure out what they're about. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, let me see. So let me also write something for, I'm going to send something to Janera. Huh. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to kind of like, I, I, I'm kneeling down and looking at something on the ground and I kind of wave over the group like, hey guys, come here real quick. And as everybody comes over, I'm going to point to these very large tracks in the ground. And I'm going to point out that they have three long toes, but apparently is bipedal, that it walks on two feet. How big are the footprints? They're pretty big. Like, you could stand in them with both feet. And oh, are we it, talking like Tyrannosaurus Rex big? Yeah. They kind of look like that. <laughs> Do they look fresh? No. They've been there a while. Days. So it's kind of degraded. You, it's very difficult for you to make a plaster cast. <laughs> I wonder if the people are going after this creature. Maybe. Um, maybe there's a maybe there's a reason for it. Maybe there's a bounty or something. A contract. Dagmar's head's just kind of going back to that place of just dragging down these big beasts. <laughs> Um, from what a theory was able to see from her scouting is that it's four people. It's actually, let me see, let me double check my notes. Um, okay. let's see. Um, Okay, wait, actually, I have... Okay, it's actually supposed to be six. It's six people. Uh, six people. One is a human. One is a hobgoblin. And four of them are goblins. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I also wonder if they're looking for the same thing we're looking for. Am, am I close enough to be able to uh, read their lips? Um, okay. If 
if you cuz so at this moment they're not in sight they're just a theory scouted ahead and came back and warned you about them and generis also warned you about this track here so if you want to go read their lips you're going to have to make the effort of actually following a theory and doing a stealth check to make sure that they don't see you and i can do pass without a trace for everybody i'll be we'll be down i'll be down an extra second level spell but uh but it'll definitely help us get close enough. All what right, do you think? I, I mean, I want to ask the rest of the party what they think. Well, we really need to know what these guys are here for, and if we should, we need to avoid them, or confront them, or perhaps even join them. Yeah. Yeah. Depending on what they're about, yeah. <clears throat> So I'll cast Pass Without a Trace, and we'll try to get as close as we can. Okay, go ahead. And ca uh, cast it so it appears in the chat. Okay. If you can. Sure. Okay, everybody roll stealth checks. <laughs> clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Well, we'd be adding 10 to each of these rolls. Oh. So Janeiro would be the lowest at a 17 for stealth, which is still pretty good. Um. Yeah, and then uh, Fred and... Wait, is there... The theory would have a, a 30 with Pass Without a Trace, which is... I don't think anybody's ever seen her ever. <laughs> <laughs> she she is John Cena-ing this right now. Yeah. Oh, you can't see me. Um... <laughs> She can't even see herself. You're right. <laughs> uh, I, I, again, we're doing the Lord of the Rings here, where a theory is doing the the elf thing. I know she's only half elf, but doing the elf thing where she's like walking on. Th I know there's a scene in the original, the Fellowship of the Ring, where um, like it's actually walking on the snow and doesn't actually fall into it. So that's yeah. kind of what a theory is doing, <laughs> or a combination of that and. Um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, where they're running on the bamboo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, There's a weird thing where she's like literally walking on eggshells and not breaking them. So stealthy. Yeah. Okay. So you all are get sneak through the tall grasses and are able to see um, most of them. You're, you're able to see all of them. I only have illustrations for two of them at the moment. Let me see if I can get that. Okay. So let me, s let me pull them in here. Uh, okay, I, I think I haven't uploaded them yet. All of them, uh, give me a moment, and I'll upload the, them to... I'm scared. I have a guess. <laughs> like, what's there to be scared about? Well, you created a certain character a while back, and he hasn't showed his face yet. Well, what character are you talking about? I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> certain uh certain someone with tattoos oh that's good thank you for reminding me i haven't done anything with him mm. <laughs> okay Let's see uh, i'm gonna try to resize them so that they uh appear in the feed uh, rather nicely so at least two of them so the one on the left is a goblin and the one on the right is a hobgoblin. So I'll have to adjust the height a little bit so it kind of looks what it would actually look like. Well, they look like they're uh they're up to no good. <laughs> uh, does his tattoo say I love Oh my mom. god, I just noticed <laughs> 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 Wait, 
like eyes were traveling up his arm. I was like, oh, that's really interesting on his wrist there. Wait a second. Wait. Oh. <laughs> What you don't like uh you don't like a mama's boy? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing scars, but I'm also seeing pickaxes and shovels. Mm hmm. Hmm. And frowns. These might be the uh whereas you, there was once prof hair professor doctor, this might be these might be actual looters. We should, Fred. Do you know anything about? Do you know well, anything about looters in the area, Fred? Um, like Fred scratches his head and like scratches his chin, and it's like, mm, looters. Well, we did run into, or well, we did see some people that seemed to be digging, or at least going around doing stuff in our area. But they didn't really talk to us, and we didn't really talk to them, so I'm not sure. Are we close enough that I can I can begin to read lips? Are they having any sort of conversation, or...? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I can't remember what if what the limitations are for you. Um, I, I'm just, for I, the now, for the moment, I'll say, yeah, you can read them. Read their lips. It, uh, it depends if it says, if I can see a creature's mouth while it is speaking a language I can understand. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and there's no distance. Oh, I just yeah, it's just, it's just you can see it, right? Um, I'm I'm gonna assume with such uh, high stealth that you're really close that you could basically you could almost uh, reach out and touch them. I'm, I'm gonna assume. Um, so let's see here. I'm gonna I'm gonna message you in Discord. <laughs> Nate, uh, Nate, I'm in the middle of oh, one second. So, okay. Okay. So I'll I'll do my best imitation of what they sound like. Ugh, I hate it out here during bugs. The mud is slipping into my boots. Well, it's just a little further. We'll be there by the end of the day. I hope we find something good this time. Which tells me that these are probably the actual looter looters. Hmm. Okay, Dagmar, go kill them. <laughs> <laughs> and you said that there were also some uh, there were four of them a goblin a hobgoblin and a couple of humans so it's uh, it's six total uh four goblins one hobgoblin one human Um, one of them's a one of them's a hobgoblin. Why don't you uh, you, you know him, Janera? Are you implying that all <laughs> hobgoblins know each other? <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> no, no, I do not know this gentleman. <laughs> well, there's fewer of you guys than say, and then I'm just gonna like point at Gradle without even looking at him. <laughs> uh, huh. Should we follow them? Hmm. Well, if we can, if we can confront them 
and intimidating them into leaving, then we might be able to, uh, you know, do you think we can bluff them into, into leaving? Like we did with the, uh, with the, uh, the shopkeep? I mean, maybe. They came packed, though. Something tells me no. Um, and if we get them to leave, we won't. We might not know where they're going. Hmm. We might want to catch them and, and get them to set up camp or something first um, and see where they're headed before we catch them red-handed and then maybe try to scare them off. Well, they, they did say we'll be there by the end of the day, which to me seems like they're heading directly to the Mesa. I could, think uh, theory. I could do what, uh, and this we're all whispering this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I could uh, I could do what we did with the bandits last time and hit them with fairy fire. So in case we have to, uh, in case this does turn ugly will have advantage on uh, on our ATAX. You mean do that right? Wait till we or go up to the Mesa and try to catch them in the act and then do it. Yeah. Well, it, it only lasts for one minute, so maybe... It depends. I mean, we, we, we have the, the drop on them. We can either confront them or befriend them, but I don't think ignoring them is an option, especially if we're going to the same place. Yeah. Should we ask them where they're going? <laughs> See if we can tag along? I mean, just straight up Ask them what they're doing. We can oh, I mean, the looters and join them. But then at some point, the uh, facade would have to drop because we're not looters. We're trying to track down the looters and keep other people from getting cursed by stolen objects. Yeah. True, but for one of us, uh, he won't have to try so hard to keep that up, considering nudge, nudge, Fred, you you are a looter. You have looted. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fred Fred doesn't even Fred doesn't even know. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking, hmm, a theory. Since they are looters, do you think any of them would speak thieves can't? I can, uh, I can certainly... Yeah, I can try. I can pretend to be another looter. And go chat and see what they're doing. We can do that. But then... then so I guess the question is, as a group, are we going to pretend to... To, to join them? I, I think that a, a few of us stay hidden in case things turn turn bad. Yeah. I can then stay we can, hidden. Yeah. Then if we, then if, we uh, if things turn bad, we can get the drop on them. I can hit them with the fairy fire and go from there. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, so I like appear out of nowhere. Well, is it scare the crap out of them? <laughs> <laughs> go along the grass, and I just sort of drop in front. <laughs> no, I don't. I I I, I kind of come up behind them so they can hear me walking up. <laughs> oh, okay. So you. you... Yeah. All right. So. Because that would, that would be weird. Let me see. At this point, you'd actually be. Um, so you're actually kind of. You see here. So you, at this point, people are. You're, you're actually. 
let's just assume that you're you're still walking along the stream. So you are uh you, they hear your footsteps sort of crunch along on the uh the gravel that's mm -hmm. by the stream. And and they all sort of turn to look at you and the uh, they're a little bit surprised because uh, to see you standing there. Um, what do you say? What do you do once you grab their attention? So I say hello, and thieves can't kind of gesture. I make some hand signals, kind of nod over there, see if they understand me, uh, if they recognize it. They. They kind of look at each other and uh, they kind of look at each other and then kind of kind of looked a little bit like kind of like weird, like what's happening. Um, then the you don't have to do the hand gestures. You can just say um, you can just say like what exactly the your uh, well. What exactly you mean? Um, okay. Or, or you so can just, make that a point that you're just gesturing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I just I say good morning. And I'm like, hey, are you guys headed up to the mesa? Looks um, like you're walking up that way. They, they nod and then they, they say like, yeah, we're, we're heading toward the mesa. Um, they, when, so it's the Hobgoblin. The Hobgoblin's the one that's actually talking. The Hobgoblin, uh, responds to your questions, but doesn't respond in Thieves' can. He specifically responds back in common. He did, um. So I say, hey, I uh, I, I was over in Oakhurst and uh, in the in the in the alleys talking with folks, and they said that this is a good time of year to find stuff on the mesa. Is that true? You know, after the rains and stuff. There, he kind of like looks a little puzzled and like, okay, so I want you to roll the performance. Um, no, 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 sorry. Deception. You're right. You're going to roll deception uh, to see if you can get them to believe you. It's whatever it is that you're... Uh, or believe that you're like on their side or whatever. Ooh. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Nope. Okay. So they're sort of like looking at each other kind of bewildered um then they're like find stuff on the mesa like yeah we're gonna go uh mushroom hunting okay so now <laughs> this is their deception yeah <laughs> roll your uh insight <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Since since we're all listening, would we be able to roll insight checks as well? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, great all. Natural twenty. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> so, uh, for theory. You can tell that they're lying, but you have absolutely no what the idea what they're lying about. Mm -hmm. The rest of you can tell that they're hiding something and that they're not hiding from mushrooms. So a theory, you know they're lying, but you're gonna have to play a little mm -hmm. dumb. Well, yeah. So I'm like, mushrooms, cool. Uh, we just had a really awesome mushroom risotto. I'd love to go collect some more. Uh, can I come with you guys? They're like. Can you show uh, me where to find some? 
Are you sure? It's kind of dangerous out here. Um, it's like, these are really special mushrooms, and like, it can be kind of hard to get them. Are, are you sh like, what are you doing out here? I heard back in Oakhurst that this is a good place to go, you know, forage and, and find stuff. Oh. I could bring it back to town. Make some money. Oh, oh, okay. You're just an adventurer <laughs> looking to make a buck. This, can, this conversation <laughs> continues. <laughs> and it's it's very awkward. Because you're lying and they know you're lying. They're lying <laughs> and you know that they're lying. So they're uh, like, yeah, Oak. It's Oak Ridge, not Oakhurst, but yeah, Oak Ridge. Yeah, uh, Oak Ridge. You can sell mushrooms and make some money, I guess. Um, uh, uh, but we're uh, we're not gonna go to Oak Ridge. We're gonna go to some other town to sell it. Um, again, they're lying. <laughs> Um, and they're like, like, if you follow us, I guess that's up to you, but we're not going to help you because we're, we only have supplies for ourselves. We didn't prepare for a person to, to tag along with us. Supplies, I can take care of myself. Uh, okay. And I, I've got some friends too, so... You know, I could go back and find them. Friends? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, like, then why don't you just go with your friends? Like, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Because, like, if we're all together in a big group, there will be less mushrooms to go around. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. They don't need me. All right, I'll just go with you guys. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. So they they all like look at each other. Um. So a theory. At any point, did you stop using thieves can't and switch to common? Uh, get in thieves camp. Okay. Um, so as they're walking along, the they begin to sort of whisper uh, amongst each other, and you notice they're actually whispering in goblin. They've actually switched now from common to goblin, and and they you can hear them whispering, uh, like, uh. Let's let's hustle to see if we can lose her. Um, so they begin to double time it, um, and so the they 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 tell you a theory in a common, like, well, we're professionals, we're professional mushroom hunters, so I hope you can keep up. And they begin to like, like walk a lot faster. They're hiking a lot faster. They're trying to go twice the speed as what they were doing before. And I'm like, cool, I like to parkour. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is fun. <laughs> I, I think this is I think this is getting out of control. Are we I, basically I I turn to Dagmar and Janira and be like, We're fighting these bastards, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. And how how uh we we've been trying to keep a pace as best we can while stealthing. How far away are they from us now? Well, I don't. Um, okay, so at the pace that they're going, you cannot be stealthy because they are close to just running. Um, okay, if if they are, let me. Uh, I want to see what the uh, range is on fairy fire. Are they within sixty feet of me? Uh, yeah, I guess they're within sixty feet of you. 
Um, but you're not going to be stealthy at this moment. That's okay. I mean, they if they're running, they're not necessarily going to know that I'm there. I just I want to hit him with the with the fairy fire and and let him know that it's on. <laughs> okay. I'll actually cue the battle me, music. Give me a second. So are we are we waiting on Daryl right now or Yeah, Everything I think okay? so. Yeah, okay. I'm taking an opportunity to snack on some trail mix. <laughs> <laughs> uh no. No, no, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Ellie, are you listening to the Game of Thrones soundtrack on Spotify right now? I sure am. <laughs> oh, okay. It was weird. I saw a thing on, on Goblin D&D, &D and I'm listening to Spotify. I'm like, whoa. Is that going out to the game? or No, it, it's just I'm just listening to it. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I guess it's all hooked up with Discord and all that. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Hello? Hello. Oh, we hello, can hello. hear you. Now. There you go. We can hear you. Okay. I like how that's your music of choice. I've just got like the tavern thing I linked in chat before the tavern <laughs> music on loop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, okay. So they're basically running. What are you all doing then? I'm going to fling my axe. You're flinging your <laughs> axe. Mm hmm. Can I roll for initiative? It, okay, well, so they're not fighting you, so you're all going to basically get a round running. of actions, and then if then we'll do whatever battle or whatever. Okay. Did I already hit him with the fairy fire, or is that? Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. So let me. They're going to need to do a uh, dexterity 14 saving rule. Okay, yeah. Let me see then. So here we go for... I'm going to roll. So we're going to go down the list here. Let me see. And it's too bad. I really didn't want to kill these guys, but they didn't give us... I still hope that we can, if we enter into combat, we can intimidate them out of this. If we just say, back off from the Mesa and go home. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, so... Uh, 14. Fail. Okay. Or, what? Okay, you said uh, difficulty 14, right? Yes. 
Okay. That's a success. That's a success. 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 <laughs> only one of them. And then only two, two of, of them. only two of them got hit with the fairy fire. Everybody else was there. They were moving too fast. Okay. So <laughs> sorry, I scared them off. I, I uh, failed to Gretel waves his hands and casts his spell fairy fire. <laughs> um the area now you're trying to keep up with them, aren't you, a theory? Um yeah, but I'm looking back at I because do I notice the fairy fire? Because I knew that he was going to do that. Well, I can, I can. The thing is, I can control it. It's a, it's a twenty foot cube, so I can control where it hits. Okay, so. So even if she's trying to keep a pace with them, she's not going to get hit by it. Okay, so you're no, but like I that. would have seen it. So I would have like looked back and motioned to those guys to let's go get them. Okay. So, they're. The the thing that I'm trying to get is that there's a, at least some distance between this, the between the the group that you're following, and a theory, right? There's a a distance, like a gap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, following them. All right. I'm gonna so see where we're going. Hold on a second. So, four of them dodge. One of the goblins and the human get caught in it, and they begin to glow. Like, their silhouettes are breathed in this light. Okay, hold on a second. Actually, um... Hey, what level is fairy fire? Okay. 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 So let's see. Okay, I guess uh I'll move you to this one. Okay. Um I'm gonna have to like draw this out really quick, so you're gonna have to take give me a moment here as I do the airplane thing again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. So, okay, so that's not what I want. Okay, so that's basically the stream that you're following. Okay, that's the stream that you're following. And then you have sort of plants. These aren't really trees, it's just sort of like shrubbery foliage and stuff along the edges. Okay. So I'm gonna have to put them down. Okay. Let's see here. Tokens. Here we go. Thank you. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Dagmore, for doing all of this. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna make this a. L there should be more uh, plan section in the way, cause. Right, because it's it should be growing like right up to the banks. It, this should not be open. This is very wild out here. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna put. Oh, not that one. Not like that. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, I want you to put yourselves down here at the bottom somewhere. Put somewhere down at the bottom because you're chasing them and heading north. Uh, 
<laughs> That's too cute. <laughs> okay, uh, put yourself down, Gradle. It's theory. So you said we were kind of further back, right? Yeah. And each of the squares is 5, or 5, 10, 15, yeah. 20, 20. I think I'm, we're gonna, we've got to be pretty far back. A theory's got to be a lot closer, but we've got to be pretty far back if we're coming out of the, coming out of the woods. Like, you're way up north ahead of them, Gradol. Oh, north and north of them. That's the thing. That's the thing. I was, I got twined around. I got toined around. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be right here next to Genera. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Um there we go. All right. So you basically initiated combat. So everybody roll for initiative. Oh. <laughs> oh, Dagmar. <laughs> okay. So here we go. I'm going to have to write this down. Okay, so let me see here. A theory quite close to the top. What I would assume would be the top. Yeah. I love that, Dagmar, you rolled a nat natural one, but you're still going before me. <laughs> That's how it works. Uh, well, you gotta, you gotta clean up the whole, uh, the whole battle with your moonbeam. I can try. I gotta get. I think I gotta get pretty close. And since I've already cast Power with the Pass Without a Trace, and I've cast uh, Lesser Restoration, I'm down to just one second level spell left. Okay. So if I hit him with Moonbeam, that's that's all they get. God. Well, at least, at least we won't get Lyme disease this time. <laughs> no surprise gift bonus. Okay. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna have to mark some of these things. Here. Okay, so purple. Those now are the ones that have fairy fire on them. Okay. Now, as a question, just as a practical matter, are we gonna have time to do this combat, considering that we're wrapping up in about uh, half an hour, forty minute, forty five minutes? I don't think so. Um. But we'll we'll see what we can do, and I'll I'll yeah, see where you end up. Next time. Like, see. like this battle will probably con like continue into next time, and that's fine. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Da, 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 da. And then... Okay. All right, so a theory. Go ahead. Okay. 
So is that the hobgoblin that's the closest one? Okay, so the hobgoblin is the red one. This is the other goblin that you saw. Okay. So the one that's closest to me, I'm so I'm going to try to lasso it with my whip. A lasso with the whip? Okay. Yeah, try to just catch him by the legs and stop him. Okay, so... The ultimate way to <laughs> deal with the looter? <laughs> I guess you took my... Whip again. <laughs> you took my tweet quite literally. <laughs> you got your bull whip. <laughs> I leave that thing, but... I'm gonna lasso him by the legs and see if I can stop him. <laughs> okay, um... So you're... Do you have a weapon attack ready with the whip? If you do, just click that. Oh, um... No, I don't have it. Um... Let me see... What do you have? Would that be... Like, you probably can add it to your... Like acrobatics or something? Well, you should be able to add the whip to your your items. Yeah, let's see if it's in there. And then um, you can look up the the stats for the whip on D&D Beyond and just f put those stats in. Well, it's just and then, it's just trying to hit um, so let's see here. Um, if you'd like, I'm looking at your character sheet, at least at what we have here. You have a plus four to, the whip is going to be a dexterity based attack. I'm going to double check. I'm almost certain that that is, um, okay. Yeah, it is. You can use your dexterity to help you hit with it. And your dexterity is much better than your strengths. So go ahead and just roll a d20, and you're going to get a plus 6 to hit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Okay, so, and then total is 13. Okay. So, uh, you crack your whip and you aim for his legs, but you aim too high, and the goblin's able to deflect it with the funk, and it bounces off his shield, and he, he is unsnared. Okay. You still have a movement and a yeah. bonus action, a theory. Yeah, so I'm going to... Um... Gonna dash, or I can hide. Well, just it's just tall grasses, right? Yeah. So I could try to. I'm gonna try to move back, and then I'll draw my crossbow. Okay. All right. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Next is the hobgoblin's turn. Okay. Gonna. So, I'm, I'm checking something right quick, quick, quick. Okay. So, the go hobgoblin just books it as fast as he can. And it's just like, it is like, out of there. Okay. <laughs> Next, well, on his way, on his way running past, past the human, he taps the human on his shoulder, whispers something in his ear, uh, but you can't quite see it, uh, Gradal, because his back is turned. Okay, and with that, the, it's now the human's turn, and the human... Well, the human and the the human and two of the goblins uh, do this at the same time. So let me see. 
this you can see that this one starts to run all, uh, toward the or after the hobgoblin and this one also is running that way and then the human casts a spell uh, Okay, and the, and the spell, I'm going to check. Oh my goodness. I have the book in my hands. I should just be looking this up online. Okay, yeah. Okay, think about there. Wait, no, not there. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, that's a mess up. That's a mess up, mess up, mess up, mess up, mess up. About that. And so there is a huge black dome of darkness that appears right in your path. Um, over that circle, right over a theory. Hmm. And with that, you can't quite see. It's, it's in the center, it's like 15 feet tall. Um, and it actually sort of dips down into the stream a little bit. Um, let me see here. And the other goblins continue to book it, as far as you can tell. But it's, it's a little bit hard to tell because uh, the big black mound is in the way. So the, can I tell what this big black mound is that he's cast, or...? He's cast darkness, basically. Ah. So it's a big black um, a dome. Okay. Oh, yeah, and then the, he books it, too. Okay. All right. Next is Janera. Uh, well, I can see in darkness. Well, that's the one thing. It's a magical darkness, so you actually can't see through it. It is opaque. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh... I'm going to try to run after these guys. So, you have the stream on your right, and the stream is, um, it is like 8 to 10 feet across. So, you either have to leap across it, or try to wade through it, or you have to run around the black thing, or you... If you run through the black thing, it's basically like running with your eyes closed. Okay. Um... Let me see... I guess I can't use any of those. Um, hang on, there was I wanted to see how far I my I could jump, and I know I saw something here that 
specified. Oh, that's only if I use Step of the Wind, but that can only be used as... That's a bonus action. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and run this way around. Okay, so you're just going to use up your movement and your uh, dash action, I assume? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to... You're right here next to that's... All right. Now, I'm basically counting the... Uh, if you're crossing through dark green, we're going to count that as basically uh, rough terrain. So we'll leave it at that. Um, okay. Okay, so next is Dagmar. It me. Um, <laughs> okay, so I I can only go. Okay, so if I take the ruler out, I'm trying to remember how to do this. Okay. Uh, show to others. Corner. So if I to get to the oh, I can only go about thirty feet right per turn. You can also dash, which gives you one more movement, but the dash uses up your action, which means you cannot attack. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna I, I think I'm just gonna move forward for my turn then. Uh now the the thing is though if you try to move through this big black thing, it's mm -hmm. you cannot see through it even with your dark vision. So it's like you can move around it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that about about here is where I could get by going around it. Okay. Um, go ahead and put yourself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna leave it at that. All right. Okay. Now it's uh, Gradol's turn. So this other goblin, who's really the only one on the map right now, can't really see me because and I can't see him and he can't really see me because of the magical darkness in the way, right? Yeah. And how high does the magical darkness go? Uh the highest it goes is fifteen feet. Okay. So, so the, don't ask me to do what the math that's like, at the dome. Forms. What I would like to do <laughs> is I would like to uh use my action to wild shape into an owl, which has a fly mm -hmm. speed of sixty feet. And I should be able to not only, if I use my action to wild shape this turn and then double dash the next turn, I should be able to keep, at the very least, keep a pace with the people we're tracking and, and keep an eye on them in case everybody else wants to catch up with them later because I don't see us catching up to them now. But I'm going to try, how do I get to the ruler? Um, so on the left, you see for your tools, you have a pointer, a brush, a magnifying glass, and then a funny circle with a comb. That That's not a comb, that's the ruler. Okay, so snap to center. So, all right, so turn into an owl, and I can do 60 feet. So I can do, I'll probably want to do, like, to make it seem that the owl is unconnected to the combat, I'll want to go basically follow this the stream and go 60 feet in in like this direction but then keep an eye out and keep a pace for for the direction that everybody else is going okay um that sounds pretty good go ahead now te te technically i messed up but this mistake okay. goes literally all the way back to the first session Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> because I was just looking at your beast shape, the wild shape. I forgot mm -hmm. you're not supposed to have a flying speed until level eight or no or something. Really? Yeah, it says. I, th I thought I thought it was any creature with a challenge rating of a half or less. 
It also says limitations, no flying speed. But you did that uh, in literally okay. the first session of this, so you're grandfathered in. Uh, no you know? flying or swimming <laughs> speed. Okay, I see that. I see that. If if you want me, if you want me to skip it, I can skip it. No, no, no. Because we'll, we... I don't have any other beasts. Because I wouldn't do that without the flying speed. Because I don't have any other beasts that can move that fast. No, no. We, we, I am not retconning that. We, we have to stay within continuity. We have to stay within canon. <laughs> like, right? Obviously, oh, I am referencing the first session with all of the dinosaurs and the Sasquatches. It would be unfair of me <laughs> to not reference your owl for, in the first Fair session. Enough. So I'll move my I'll move my owl form up the oops up the sixty feet okay. to about here, right? Okay. I'm gonna see if there is an owl here. I, okay, wait. I see a hawk. I see a raven. I see an eagle. Badger, badger. Ah, owl. Do you want to be a white owl? Absolutely. <laughs> turn me in. Turn me into Hedwig. <laughs> so if you want, what you can do is you can uh, delete Gradal there. Uh, I'll do it for you. Okay, there you go. I got it. So we're gonna put him there. Um, rotate. Kaka. Um. That is not what how owls sound. <laughs> <laughs> This is the new All right, go <laughs> uh, all right wait. I, I heard this actually on NPR recently. Is it going to be, uh, who cooks for you? Who cooks for you all? <laughs> That's a barred owl. Really? I, I don't know what a snowy owl sounds like, but whatever snowy owl sounds like. Okay. Freezing! I'm freezing! <laughs> 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 Uh, tweet, tweet. Okay. Um. So that's it for you, Gretel. All right, mm -hmm. and then this little bugger. He's gonna run around it, so it's like five fifteen. Uh, that's thirty. I mean, like this. This last bugger's gonna run. Um, Fred. Be like along with the rest of them. I mean, they they'd be all really much closer than that. Um, but like it's a little bit hard to keep track of them when I literally pile them on together. Like if I do this, then I can't tell who's who. Okay. Fred on the map. Oh yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot. Thank you. <laughs> There's Fred. I, I mean, Fr Fred. Fred had a hard time keeping up, so he just sort of finally catches up to y'all, breathing really hard. <gasps> Come on, guys! Not so fast. You you might have to carry him, Dagmar. Oh no! <laughs> he just oh. you know carry him in a backpack on your back like Yoda. Yeah, y yeah, or yeah, or uh, how Chewbacca carried C three PO. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I I like the kind of weird like Matryoshka like Russian doll that we're doing. That Gail is in a bag on top of Fred's back, and back is in a bag on top of Dagmar's back. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> <laughs> also, like, what must Fred think by now? Just like you guys, sure fight everybody. Yeah, I mean, like, I just. I didn't think you guys were so aggressive, but Jesus, every time you confront a new person, it's just bang, bang, bang. You just gotta fight them all. Uh, oh my god. You sound like, um, what is that character from Rick was, and Morty? Was, well, I was turning Mickey Mouse even. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh. It's okay, he cooks for us. <laughs> Okay, so I, I think you can get the basic rhythm of where this is going, is that mm -hmm. they now have a head start, and they're just going to book it as 
fast as they can. And you are about the same speed as they are. Um. So. We can either try to keep playing this out if you'd like. Or we can just sort of agree. That at this point. They outrun you. Off into the distance. Or. Or well. Let, let's discuss a little bit. Um, about how you want to approach this. They have, they're running away from you. They have no intention of fighting you. And they have a good head start. What are you going to do? I can't really communicate this to everybody. But I, I think with the fly speed, I'm the only one who can keep up with, uh, with them. Since yeah. you sort of grandfathered me into it. Um, so I can keep up with them. And everybody else can can take their time, and then when they stop to rest, I can lead them back to where they are. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah. Because we also have to get... pellets on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's... I think that would be... I mean, so long as we know where they're going, we still need to know where they're going. If you could follow them in owl form... Yeah. Okay, now here's the thing. Were you actually looking at Gradal when he transformed? Or were you because from your position, I don't think you could have seen him. That's true, and I was deliberately hiding from the other goblin so that he wouldn't see me transform. Would Fred have seen? Would you be smart enough to ask Fred where <laughs> Gradol is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. So when they run off into the distance, I assume that all of you just sort of stop. Um. Uh, hold on a second. Actually, check something really quick. Dagmar stopping. Nah, she's probably yelling, Get back here! I didn't even get to swing at you! <laughs> Wait. Mm, okay. Um. So I'm pretty sure that the the darkness drops fairly quickly. Um. So uh, unless you're really insistent on it, uh, on it, a theory, I'm guessing you just sort of stand there for like a few seconds and then it drops. Um. Mm. So they're way off in the distance. They're running. What are you doing? What are you saying to each other? Uh, um, I think we should should regroup, guys, because they're we're not going to catch them. Yeah, and I mean, we're all heading in this. I mean, we assume they're heading towards the mesa. And we know we're going there, so we're bound to run into them again. Yeah, it's just now they know that we're out here too, so... Yeah. That did not go as well as we had planned. No. No. <laughs> no, sorry about that. <laughs> well, and then we, we have to be on high guard <laughs> anyway that. because of the ticks and God knows what el whatever else is out here, so... We're going to be, like, stealthy anyway. It's just one more thing to watch out for. Yeah. That was a very diplomatic Dagmar. Hold on. I wanted to hit one! <laughs> <laughs> That's why you let me negotiate. I can charm them. <laughs> totally. Uh... <laughs> I failed completely. <laughs> they would have believed me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, just to uh, open it up for a question, um, 
would anyone mind, since combat appears to be over and we have a plan, uh, would anyone mind if I signed off early? My wife was telling me she's ha- having terrible pain in her elbow, and I want to go make sure she's okay. Okay, oh. yeah. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. please. Sign out. Yeah. All right. I hope right. she feels better. Yeah. I hope so, too. I hope so, too. All right, I'm going to sign out, and I will see you all in a couple of weeks. All Later. right, have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Okay, so I assume then you ask Fred, hey, Fred, or you ask each other, where's Groudal? And then you ask Fred, did you see what happened to Groudal? And then he would explain that Groudal transformed into a bird and then flew away. <laughs> Uh, that sounds like Grotto. <laughs> yeah. he, does, he does that sometime. Don't worry mm-hmm. about it. Yeah. This is completely normal. Welcome to Goblin Town. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. If are there any other questions? Because I'm I mean this is a little bit of method acting, but because Groudal wouldn't be here to hear your conversation, what is your plan now between the three of you? Um, I, I guess we, you know, should keep kind of making our way towards the mesa. Um. But, and Gradal would expect that we'd be following him anyway. He, yeah, he would. Yeah, he would expect us to keep going in that direction. And, um, you know, if we stop at any point to rest or make camp, um, we should do it someplace that keeps us out of sight, but where Gradol would be like, okay, they're not going to be out in the open. This is a good spot where they would stop. So, like, he can keep an eye, an eye out for us, and we can keep an eye out for him. Like, we're not completely hidden, but we're out of sight enough to where we don't have to worry about the looters seeing our position, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Well, yeah. let's see. Let's go back to the map. Uh, and you're awfully presumptuous. How do you know they're looters? <laughs> there are no mushrooms up there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Every time this happens, too, I'm just like, I can't believe we're just attacking and we haven't even exchanged names. I mean... (laughs) I should have tried that. Hi, what's your name? Exactly. (laughs) Okay. Hi, what's your name and do you have a permit? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, jeez. Where's rock bottom? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay, so in in this area, it's mostly flat now. Um, so if you look at the map, um, there are some sort of ridges and hills um, radiating from the mesa, but for the most part, this is flat, um, open uh, areas. There's some trees, uh, but think kind of. Chaparral. Chaparral? Chaparral? I don't know. Um, So there's not much in terms of places to hide, but it is a Uh, little bit difficult to see over a long enough distance because it's, you know, there's just stuff in the way. Okay. So, within reason, if we still maintain a bit of a distance from them, they won't necessarily see us, but as Gradle makes his way back, he'll he'll find us. Yeah. I mean, I guess okay. it's a good thing that he chose an owl, a white owl, because it's like, how many snowy owls out here? <laughs> out in, like, 
this sort of uh, semi-arid, not based on uh, Southern California territory whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you gotta do all our states. You gotta. Well, I. Well, it's just easy, you know. It's just easy for me to like walk around in the area, take photos, and then paint from those as source photos. Um, that's that's why. I mean, the um, the photo I put in the Discord server is going to be the, the inspiration for the painting I do for this area now. Um, you know, spoilers. Uh, but I'm gonna have to get something for uh, the mesa. I don't. There, there are no mesas around here. Oh, I can send you plenty because I spent like two months on a mesa. <laughs> Do it. Otherwise, I'm gonna like. <laughs> Maybe I should take a weekend to actually go out toward Vegas. I mean, I only gotta drive like four hours. <laughs> it's only four hours. Yeah. Or I can go to like Arizona or something like that. Yeah. All right. So we have those in Washington, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you have Mount Rainier, like, and a bunch of like pine forests. If you go to Oregon, <laughs> we get waterfalls. I know. <laughs> or what? You could show off like the Columbia River and stuff like that. Like that's pretty beautiful. That's a really big, um, Puget Sound. Yeah. Yeah. You don't seem very proud. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I work on the Columbia, so like, I'm just like, it's really nice. It was nice four years ago. <laughs> and now <laughs> you hate it. <laughs> I mean, the Scablands, Eastern Washington's a great place to work. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um. Okay, so I guess we're just going to end it up there um, a few minutes before we normally end. Um, are there any questions, anything else you'd like to say? I can't believe that Gradol doesn't have Lime anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that seems like a, too good to be true. <laughs> I mean, it's magic. <laughs> oh my god. He had no reason to be concerned. He's just like, I'm going to get through this. I'm, I don't need to make a new character. This is fine. I'll magic it away. Yep. Yep. <laughs> well, just just a confession. The only reason why I let the lime in is because I knew he had that spell. So I was just like, I didn't <laughs> yeah. want to be mean and give you guys lime and then have you <laughs> die like, like halfway in the middle of this leg of the journey. If Dagmar ever dies, I will remember that you said this. <laughs> <laughs> I won't forget this. Oh. Uh, okay, well, a little bit of spoilers. Um, I guess just, just as a preview for everybody listening and also for you to sort of prep, because I know you were so traumatized by the ticks and you're like, you didn't prepare me or prepare the group for this. Um. <laughs> The, the next part of the journey is going to be dungeon crawly. Um, I'll say no more than that. Um, so if you don't understand what that means, you know, you come ask me. Uh, we'll continue talking later. And I want everybody to look forward to like, ooh, what does a dungeon look like in Goblin Town? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that sounds interesting. <laughs> tons of ticks. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed uh, my character Dagmar, she's done. Um. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna put ticks in the dungeon. I'm gonna put the flesh-eating beetles like in the mummy. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Well, <laughs> uh, only in Goblin Town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for a, a great game as usual. Yes, thank right. you. Thank so you, much fun. Everybody. And uh, have a good night. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>